right, what's up, my friends? Welcome. 10 New Brews, a show where I uh, I build 10 decks with a brand new format. Lost Caverns, Ixalan is... It's not here yet. It's almost here. We're on early access. And uh, playing against other content creators, we got best of one, five games, each deck, all new brews, all just built. I just built them all. And then we're going to try it and see how it goes here. And we got a deck number two is Elephant Daycare. That's right. Only one Planeswalker per set, and it's this freaking guy for this set. Um, <laughs> Quintorius Cant. Five mana... Boros Planeswalker, static ability, whenever you cast a spell from exile, uh, it deals two damage against your life, which is pretty powerful, honestly. Then we have plus to make a creature, minus the cascade for four, or discover four, and then ultimate, you can cast your entire graveyard, pretty powerful. So, we're uh, we're taking old uh, Contorius here, and the cascade mechanic, and melding it with P and LR, of course, really, really powerful two drop from uh, whatever set it's from, where uh, whenever you play a card from exile, you get a Thopter, so... Normally, these decks are very low to the ground and play a lot of Reckless Impulse effects. We're only playing four because we have uh, other ways to do the uh, do this uh, Cards from Nowhere thing. Also, our curve's a lot higher, so you can't play Impulses that aggressively if your curve's higher. So we have four copies of Geological Appraiser, the new Bloodbraid Elf. Uh, no haste here. And, of course, a little different than Cascade, uh, but still probably pretty good. I'm not sure, honestly. We're going to try out and see how, how good it is, you know. Then we have Warcrafting, which casts Cards from Exile. We got Chandra, Dressed to Kill, which can cast cards from Exile and also help cast our Quintorius on turn four. And uh, River Theory's Questioner is also a good early creature that can ramp into our bigger stuff as well. Bunch of cheap removal spells. And that's the deal. We're just cascading, folks. We're just going to see uh, see what we can do with that. So, let's get right to the games. Brought to you by Elgato. How do I do this? It's that right there. Stream deck. I got four of them. All right. All the Elgato tech is how I run my stream. Uh, face cam right now. I got my key lights. And uh, a lot of new products, too. I want to get that, that new teleprompter. So it looks freaking awesome. Uh, I got to get that one onto my uh, my thing. But uh, lots of great tech. Don't need the green screen because I have my wall painted. But everything else is run through uh, Elgato. Check it out. Of course, uh, hashtag sponsored by El Elgato. Elgato partner. Proud of it. Use the link in chat, please, in the description. Because obviously they sponsor me. And that way they'll know I sent you there. And uh, if you're new content, you work from the computer, work from home. Whatever you got, Elgato's got it for you. Check it out. Elgato.com. Chat. Coming out of me. Pia Chandra Appraiser. All right. This works. I can keep this one. Yeah, this one. Yeah, this one can do this. All right. Ooh. A little, uh, little Boros mirror. So we got Bivouac ready to rock and roll. Normally, we might want to hold on to our Pia because we have two of them. Oh, we got some vampires. All right. Ooh. Bartholomew. Right? New uh, Aristocrat. Didn't play it. Didn't build it on this card, actually. Pretty cool new card, though. This is the first limitless cheap sack creature we've had in a long time, honestly. Just sack anything for no cost, just colon. So you can sack your whole board if you want to, which is kind of cool. But we got our legend here in Pia. We got a Vampire Socialite, uh, which will... If ETBs... I mean, you gotta lose life to just move this lane. Just like, oh, wow. All right, we got Quad Pias, folks. All right. Take it easy with these Quad Pias. Um... Kind of sucks here, because we're going to play Chandra, and if they kill my Pia, they're just going to, like, kill my Chandra, too. But we can't really not play anything here. And uh, our options are limited, because we have all four Pias. So, here's Chandra, I guess. We're going to plus. Uh, all right, so take one. Make a red. Can't use it. Uh, just say go. We have Bloodbraid off next turn, which is pretty cool, so... All right, folks, as I said, if you enjoy this content, enjoy 10 new brews, enjoy my content, uh, please support the content if you can. Any content you like, you want to support them, hit the buttons. Just tickle, tickle the algorithms for them. And uh, we got a little bit, a little menace here. And uh, hit the like button, leave a comment. What do you think? What is this? So we're going to block. Uh, they can sacrifice the blood, and this will be a 3-2 and trade, which is fine. They're going to sacrifice two things, and that's fine also, so it's totally fine. We also have multiple Pias here, so... I want to keep Chandra alive if possible. Lunar is so much away from. Right. Is it going to be sacrifice something else for this also? All right, now let's trade. So, trade here. Chandra's still alive. Draw a bit of a whack. Um, the Angie's probably going to finish off this Chandra. And we, like, kind of want to have Pia in play when we cast the Appraiser. But realistically, like, you probably want to play the, play the Appraiser here. Um... Yeah, we could, like, minus the Chandra and try to removal spell, but Angie's pretty good, too. Uh, all right, so let's uh, let's just make it red. 
This is a really, really awful draw for us, obviously, just having drawn all four PS and no removal spells, but here's the Appraiser. So we're going to Cascade, our first ever Discover, and we're going to hit a Monastery of Sphere. So, not the best. It's fine. Play that. Play Vivoac. And just say go. We can now keep our Chandra alive by just jump blocking the Angie, which is kind of cool. Good luck, soul. Interviews are our Earth thing. Yeah, I'm on the uh, the hiring side of interviews these days, which is kind of crazy. But Okay. We have a Blood Letter of Alca Alca Alcatraz, whatever. Um, You're saying it wrong. And they're going to attack Angie at the Chandra. I'm just going to jump block. So, this thing will double damage. Or, sorry, not double damage. Just, the opponent would lose life. And unfortunately, we just, uh, we drew a strangle, but... Alright, let's, uh, so you gotta cast a spell. Oh, it's just, it's just this turn. So, let's just minus the, or plus the Chandra and see what happens. Uh, unfortunately, it's four toughness, which are pretty annoying. We draw a Voltage Surge. So I'm a little hot um, so unfortunately, we can't sack the, uh, we can't, uh oh, it's so annoying. We can't sack the the Thopter we make off of the Pia because it's part of the cost to cast it. Otherwise, we could just kill this uh, Blood Letter. We can just Mirix make a token and kill the Blood Letter. Uh, it kind of sucks too, though. Um, we could... I guess we could just go land Pia and just, like, strangle and surge the Angie. Um, then they have this thing. And the thing is, this thing just doesn't, like... It can't kill this. It doesn't deal double damage. It just deals double life loss. So, all right, let's do that. I think a Thopter too. So, play Pia and a red, and just gonna strangle and surge. Yes, yeah, it's fine. Got our Pia going. We obviously hope they kill the Pia because uh, we have two more of them. So, really awkward draw here. Like it worked though. And then no attacks. I'm trying to say go. And now, hopefully, we can untap with Chandra safely and start, you know, drawing more cards off Chandra, which is pretty cool. Opponent is not Post Malone. No. Epicure. All right, take one. The Blood Tokens are pretty good with the, uh, things. And they're going to also play the Glorifier of Suffering. It's pretty good, too. All right, so put some counters on those things. Also kind of bad for us. Alright, so we get to block here and then they'll block here. They'll definitely kill Pia, like for sure. I mean, it's just jumps. That's pretty good, actually. So, so Pia dies. We get to kill the first life. And just need to find a. Alright, so need to find a spell on this thing. Need a good spell. Can you get a spell, please? It's on fire. On fire! We draw Who needs a plan? Quintorius. I mean, that is a good spell, but like, so we play this in plus it. It's actually pretty good, right? Because they only have three power in the air, so we should play this in plus it, yeah. Kind of awkward. I would love to play Pia and something else this turn, so kind of a little weird, but play our uh, our freaking elephant, dude. And You're a monster. we're just going to plus, make a 3-2, and say go. And now if I get to untap, if I can minus this with, with a Pia in play, it's also kind of the idea of a deck, so... Yeah, this card's Infernal Grasp. Wow, that's really aggressive. All right, so say go. Really? This card Infernal Grasp? All right. So they draw a Florian. That's a really good draw. That's bad for us. Uh, all right. Yeah. We have two Planeswalkers on five and two blockers. We have a Baron, too. Man, what a sick chain of draws. What a sick uh uh, all right, both really good draws. Um, like couldn't have actually been better. It's a big, big, big threatening creature and a pump to me, so I can't block safely. All right, we can't take ten years. So let's block like this. That was gross, honestly. All right, so we take eight. Honestly, though, we're gonna go into our turn with like two active planeswalkers. Again, we should draw some the kill spells here. Drawing all four shotters, we need to draw kill spells. So give me a strangle, give me something like that. A reckless impulse. All right, so let's start by... We're going to cast Pia. Then I think we cast the impulse and start there. Um, let's see what turns up off the impulse. Then we can decide if we need to use Shada for mana or for cards. And then we'll discover off Contorious. So impulse hits Strangle and Riveteers. 
that's pretty good. Um, then the question is, do I want to, I think we discover first and see what happens and then go from there. Probably not playing the Rivers Ears if I had to guess this turn. Probably should play Strangle, but let's see. Let's discover four. Right? Hold on. Discover four. Uh, I, like, I, I get a, a PA token no matter what. Let's do that. So the best hit here is the uh, is the Blood Braid off. That's, that's, that's our goal. We're going to chain, chain Cascade. So didn't hit that. So we hit a, a Swift Spear, just fine. So we get a creature. Get a thing. Take two, green two. And now, now, now we're going to go off with the... Uh, this thing too, so. And now I want to strangle the Baron, I suppose. Uh, do I want to make, look for a card? I don't think so, right? I think it's plus again. Making a blocker, is making a blocker here fine? Maybe we just actually want to make the make this thing and have, yeah, actually that's, that's much too bad. I don't need, need to kill anything else, we just have a bunch of blockers, so. And this thing will give us more mana for next turn too. So make this, make a Thopter, drain for two. We just say go. And I think we're like off to the races here. Uh, they got to draw something nasty like this exact turn. Or we're about to go wild next turn. So I'll do it for them. Alright, so jump block this. Uh, and this is this is why I think this card's really bad. Because like, unlike Torbran, it doesn't make your blocks any better. So I just should block the 2-3 of a 2-2. Two, two. And then we're going to block... This here, just block this here. Like this all looks really good to me, honestly. Is I'm missing something? I don't know if I am. Alright, that was all really, really good for us. So let's see what the follow-up is here. That looked awesome for us. Um <laughs> just a socialite? Yeah, we're 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 off to the races here, folks. Alright, so we got land. We're going to uh we're just going to start by looking through Chandra's cards. Chandra will reveal a... This is a fun idea. A land. It's fine. So we're going to play land. We're going to play strangle on the... This thing has menace, I suppose. A little annoying, but make a creature. We got to strangle something. It's just going to go away, so... Just like... Hold on. Two, one... We actually can make a... A Mirix token. I don't need to do that though, so whatever. Play this thing. And then we kill. I guess the menace creature. I guess no, I actually have Florian's at first. I almost killed Florian, so kill this. I mean, there's no voice lines because elephants can't talk. <laughs> it's, not, it's not complicated, right? Alright, so um I think we attack with our Pia. We're also at 10, honestly, because we're just like Doing so much damage to them. They have menace though. Yeah, I'll start with this. Alright. Uh, yeah, trap card. Again, I call this card. This is my trap card. The set review. And this card's actually just very bad. Uh, and this game is shown why. It doesn't even help push blockers through. It's kind of a big idiot. Quintorius though is looking real nice. Alright, so we get to untap. And now we're just going to draw a voltage surge. Awesome. Uh, exile top five, cast red spells. Sure, just cast. I am the ultimate rock rock in it. Alright, so we have to cast all of these cards. We got a war crafting here for five. Let's kill this. Drain for two. Yeah, okay, okay, there we go. Game. That was. Blouses. I'm not gonna lie, that was pretty impressive. Uh, Quintorius looked really, really good there. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll usually have something fun up up, uh, up his sleeve. So, all right, we have an awkward sundown pass, Murex hand. Um, we're gonna keep. We're just gonna play tap land on one, I think. So we can play river tears on two, instead of for impulse on three. So, we draw a land. Obviously, this will. Yeah, obviously we draw a land. So it didn't end up not working out, but whatever, it's fine. Play land, play river tears. So they go. This thing dies. Gonna cast the faster victorious. So this card's great. This card's like pretty pretty underrated. Just like a fine two drop. Putting a lot of, a lot of, my, a lot of my brews lately. So we got a Restless Ridge Line from Ollie. Copper Line Gorge, sure. So, it's funny. I think we like Swiss Spear Impulse, which is a little weird to play the Impulse after playing a land, but. Yeah, let's do that. A little weird. And then Impulse is not as good in this deck because we are, are playing more expensive cards, but. Strangle and a land. Alright, so. 
might not end up being that good, but the land's pretty good. We're building a building of Contorius. We have this Warcraft thing. Spelunking! We got our cave deck later. I'm very much looking forward to playing it. Caves is like the one real mystery mechanic, you know? That was a really good draw. Uh, like, what do we do with these freaking caves, you know? And uh, I don't know if my cave deck is good or even remotely playable. We're going to find out. Um, so... There isn't really anything we can do with the strangle. We can, like, target our own thing. Just get a new token. It doesn't really do anything. Could, like, target my own Riveteers, but I think that uh, getting our beats on is pretty more important, so. Why does cave ETB when this thing says they ETB untapped? Oh, Humps of Spear. Oh, it's true. You're right. That is the point. What's up, Todd? Hi, I'm Jim. Welcome to the stream. They end the game at one life. I'll gift one sub. I'll do it. I don't freaking care. I'll freaking do it. I'll freaking do it. So yeah, why did that like I'm untapped? I don't know. Splunking uh, whatever lands you control in the battlefield untapped. I don't know, honestly. I don't know. But we'll find out. Draw a land. We got the Quand or Canned, whatever, Cantorius. Wow. All right. We are cascading in our, in our uh, caves deck also, but not with this card. It's pretty interesting. So here comes Contorius. We're going to see uh, a Cascade for four. And they hit Blotly. I guess I could have killed this in response. They couldn't... Uh... Yeah, I, I screwed up. I should have killed this before they cast a spell so they didn't get the Drain for two. Yeah, that's... That was, that was cool. Sure. Okay. So they get uh, Watley, which we're going to kill with our Warcrafting, most likely. Um, they get a Plains. So yeah, we'll just kill this uh, this thing all. So let's kill it now, because it might draw a land or one drop, so the prowess trigger is probably not that important. Um, I guess we actually want to... Well, maybe we want to surge this and sacrifice token. Eh. Let's attack it also. Yeah, let's just untap. That's fine. So untap, and we'll draw a plane. It's not ideal. So we're going to Warcraft here. Look at the top two cards. Prowess. We see Kamano and another Voltage Surge. Unfortunately, we're light on red, which is the issue right now. Um, I guess it's fine, though. Yeah, Kamano. Kamano. So actually, we'll kill this thing, too. So, can't cast both spells. Still pretty good. So, pretty good attack. We're gonna, get, we're gonna get Cave Wrath here. They got one, two, three, three caves. If so, we get a treasure. And a three, two. Spelunking again. I like this card a lot. So, draw a card, play a land, gain four, it's cave. Where are all the new cards? It's in my hand. It's right here. I'll show you a new card. New card's right here. Here it is. Let's do it. Cascade time. One Blood Braid Elf, please. Come on, Blood Braid Elf. Come on, Blood Braid Elf. Let's go. Damn it. Why is it always Swift Spear? <laughs> All right. So, cast a spear, get a token, drain for two. And yeah, we're off to the races here, I think. I think we're all good to go. So, send him the clowns. All right. So, pretty good draw on our part, honestly. No, uh, no cave wrath for them, thankfully. All right. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is, like, a little awkward, but fine. We can keep this. Uh, so we're gonna go Forge to Spear into Myrix Pia. All right, attack for one. Here we go. Razor Verge Thicket Skrell. <gasps> There's Blood Bread Elf. We found him. Where are they? All right, so let's play Pia. Attack for one. Get the impulse next turn and then set up for a blood off. Voice of the blast. We're playing this card later too, actually. Alright, so a little pressure on us to try to find our like, kill spell for this. Let's cast the P at the impulse, see what happens. So guess this. And we find impulse and a land. Not ideal. So we're gonna play the tap land here and just attack, I guess. I guess I have Skrells. I could have killed anyway, so... I am standing right now, Bacon. I'm going to sit back down. 
Decar Mon Resub, thanks so much. Alright, so. Say go. Next turn is probably just Sundown. Maybe I have Sundown's passing Impulse, right? So. Angel and Steel Seraph. Come on down. Alright, so a little punish there for uh for attacking, which I think is like fine, obviously. So alright, so let's play Impulse. And hit Doctor. Uh, it does not color shift the Torbrand, uh, Todd. Uh, it does not help you get through blockers. It doesn't help your removal spells get better. I think the, the, the black, that black vampire card's pretty bad, honestly. We hit Warcrafting and Voltage Surge. Okay. So, play the land. Get a token. We gotta kill Skrelv, obviously, because we, uh, you know, can't get through the Skrelv otherwise. We can Warcraft next turn. Kind of awkward mana wise. Though. This, is why, this is why I was saying that like, we're only playing four of these. Because like, it is a little more awkward the higher curve. So, what do we want to do here? We just run the beats, right? Gonna run in with our Suspear. And uh, I guess that's it. Surge is also face up too, so. Alright, so we're gonna Surge now. Kill Skrelv. Sec no artifacts. Alright, I mean, we're pretty gassed up. We got some pretty big pretty, pretty big hitters here, you know. The Victorious and the Bloodbraid Elf, some lands. We got Warcrafting lined up, a bunch of 1-1s. One Feeling pretty good here, honestly. Even have blocks for Voice of the Blessed. Resplendent Angel. Okay. We're playing uh, Voice of the Blessed later. We're not playing Resplendent Angel, though, unfortunately. Very good, parents! Well... I can fill that role. All right, so we see um, a lifelink attack. Do they have like a royal roll or something here? I'm gonna call. I'm calling royal roll, but I'm I'm I'm, I'm blocking anyway. No, oh, no, okay, cool. So block there, make a four four, draw voltage surge. So now I can warcrafting kill the voice of the blessed, and then just surge and kill this. Man, we're 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 cooking right now. We are cooking. Windbreaker reset, thanks so much. Come on, I love it. Oh, we are we are super cooking. Oh my god, with gas. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna have time to cast my Cascade cards in my hand. The game's just gonna be over too fast. Alright, uh get red, sack this. Alright. Everything dead attack for seven. And I got blood for health and an elephant in the chamber still, too. Good beats indeed. Cavernous Souls. Oh boy. Oh, I just can't wait to be What's up, friend? Alright, just stone nothing. <laughs> they got a company, right? That's that's what they got here. I guess I could have Wandering Emperor, but um we have chapter two on our Kamano. I guess we just like play they play the Bloodbird Elf, right? Just do this. We get to Spear every time anyway, so add a counter. And discover three. We see a Chandra dress to kill. Gasoline. Counter off Pia. And uh can dash this guy and see, right? Just freaking do that. Just go for the kill, folks. Wandering Emperor B damn, let's go. How's Fatherhood going? Uh, it's going good. He's uh, he's a little monster. Doesn't sleep that much, but aside from that, he's doing great. All right, send it. I love this card. This card doesn't get enough play. This card's great. They have a Cosmic Rebirth, which returns a card and gain three life. I guess I thought they were going to like put it in play, but it costs six technically, so... That's a card that I totally forgot existed. Uh, permanent card in your graveyard, mana value through us. Put it in the battlefield. Yeah, of course, not bad, I guess. It's instant, too. Overseer gain one. And then, uh, aw, oh, but I, I wasn't done yet. I got, I wanna, I wanna cast my elephant. <laughs> my elephant. All right. Um, hand's great. I uh, love this energy here between Chandra and one mana removal spells. Play Chandra, add a red, cast a spell is great. Ooh. All right. All right, now. 
We got some uh, some soul ring action by our opponent over here. The Enigma Jewel. Uh, fortunately, if they don't have creatures, we're going to be a little light on stuff to do here, but there's Collector's Vault, sure. Alright, so and they're going to loot using the mana from the Jewel. Pretty powerful. Jewel and Vault. Kind of similar to Omen Speaker and uh, Bank Buster. And we draw another... Uh, Another Lando here, so not ideal. Um, yeah, I agree. I think we're in trouble here. Our draw is not really cooperating, and they're like just putting something together over here. What I'm not sure, but here's a Mirix. We're playing an artifact deck later. Uh, neither of these cards are in it though. They're gonna vault, loot, make a treasure. Starting to ferry. Maybe they're playing the uh, the Millennium Calendar card. Yeah, fortunately, uh, not a good draw. They're going to play Dusk Rose Reliquary, which is a uh, sort of like an Oblivion Ring. That is, uh, it's like an Oblivion Ring and uh, Bone Splinters had a baby. So I sack a treasure, exile my thing. It's got Ward 2. Play another Vault. All right, I mean, second Vault's in this carry. That's actually a pretty good draw. So now we drew a uh, an Elephant. We can Chandra and uh, cast the Elephant next turn. Pretty good. Uh, yep. Pretty good recovery, so I'm gonna surge or strangle here. Just say go. Can I even cast these? Why don't I? Oh, I can target the uh, Chandra. Got it. There's Restless Anchorage in the vault again. Discarding another Teferi and Celestis. So, I mean, like, the only problem with decks like this is that Brotherhood's End still in the format. Which is like pretty damning just like brotherhood's end kill your stuff sorry you know like it's kind of lame honestly but all right so we're gonna plus here we're gonna play the elephant are we going to make a token or are we gonna cascade um farewell is also bad but not as bad because it costs six you know but brotherhood's end is like just devastating so play uh play the equinctorious are we gonna cascade or are we gonna make a three two what do we think if we if we if we cascade into bloodbraid elf i'll do a backflip if we hit so spear again, I'll be pretty sad. Uh, we do get to drain for two. Um, I would just spin the wheel, right? I would just spin the wheel. Look, we can't even spin the wheel. I just freaking spin the wheel, right? Oh, we did it! Oh, it's my big We did oh it! My God. It's like Pro Tour Honolulu all over again. Blood Bray Elf Cascade. I got a fun story. And an impulse? Oh my God. All right, so Spear and Warcrafting. I guess it's your turn. You can go. No haste, unfortunately, but... Pro Tour Honolulu, round five. I'm 4-0. My opponent's got one card in their hand, and they have a creature in play. I say go. I stop them in their draw step, and I say, after you draw your card, a Timonus Blast, target your creature. Cascade into Bloodbright Elf. Cascade into Blightning. Discard those two cards. No, it's not, Todd. That's not, Todd. It's not. That was the later Honolulu. That was, it was 09. It was the Cascade Pro Tour. That was the Helix Pro Tour. Right. I was talking about the uh, the Shards of Alara block. Like Cascade block instructed Pro Tour. What is happening? They're playing Cascade, right? Sure. Uh, no back. Oh, I didn't do a backflip. I'm sorry. I didn't do a backflip. Sorry. I, I can't do a backflip. I can't do a backflip. I'm sorry, all right? Give me what I want. Can't do it. Oh, whoops. Whoopsie. I shouldn't have, uh, I didn't think it would happen, honestly, so. All right, so the Millennium Calendar is a really silly card. Uh, and if you untap one of our permanents in your untap set specifically, put that many time counters on it, and then uh, pay two to double time counters on it. When there's a thousand counters on it, you win the game. All right, whatever. Yeah, that was life. So, all right, so we can, like, Warcraft to Fairy and Sispear. I guess we should do that, right? So we'll go... They have nothing. Out of cards completely. Um, so, so Spear of Warcrafting, one card left. Do I have minus this and try to find another one drop? Sure. Let's just start there. It's a land. Alright, so we're going to go so Spear. And we're going to get a little drain from the... This card's great. This card's really good. Five damage here. 
hardly my worst defeat. And then we're just gonna... I could, like... Maybe do I just, like, surge my own creature here to get it for more damage? Um... This is 12. I think I just search, search, search this. Like, yeah, I'm sure. Pay one to deal one and a card. Send it. So they get to put eight counters on the Millennium Calendar. Uh, only 992 uh, counters left. Yeah, Nicole, Nicole has a habit of breaking things. She'll be like, my computer's not working, and like the screens are backwards, and like, I'm like how did you even do this? Inverted Iceberg. Uh, ETB mill draw. And they can craft it into a 6-6. Six, six. That does not matter. Paul's doing a lot of stuff here, but... I mean, they're just dead. I'm sorry to say. Is that the fourth to bury? It is the fourth to bury, right? So there's the fairy again. I don't see what... I don't know if the... Uh, so they, the goal with their deck is like to keep... So you can pay, spend two mana to double the counters on the, the calendar. So you can untap it successfully over and over again. You can, like, speed the clock up by a lot, but it's not... That's not happening here, so... Uh, let's see, we got... They're just dead, right? Three, six, two, strangle... Uh, yeah, I mean... Uh, one... Eh, anyway. Chandra, it's a land. All right, so I'm just strangle here, prowess. Let our opponent do it to see if it's an animation. All right, you know damn well there's no animation, all right? You know damn well there's no animation. Why be disappointed? Could this planeswalker work in a control shell? Maybe. This card seems really good. Uh, it's sort of like, it's kind of like an average planeswalker where it has like, you know, plus make a token, minus draw a card. But the, the static ability is kind of like Shieldred, where it just keeps adding up over and over and over again, you know? So, animations are canceled for record profits. Exactly. All right. Double Elephant. Double Elephant. It's tough hand, honestly. I mean, we're, we're going to keep, but the, the two drops are going to help us out a lot here. As a way to possibly cast these elephants, but yeah, keep we got removal spell, two drops, two lands, can make it work. Right. Second planes back, not great, but sure. Alright, Plaza of Heroes and Black Cleave Cliffs. So go ahead, kill my stupid little uh be a shaman guy. This card, side note, this card should definitely be a goblin. Uh it's kinda annoying it's not. You don't have any friends. Nobody likes you. Don't be so real, all right? Um, I think I just blitz here. Just guarantee this thing next turn. Just do that. Give me, give me, a, give me a little blitz key. Blitz. blitz, 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 blitz. And then you get a treasure. Lock in our Dumbo next turn. Set releases uh, on Tuesday. Bronze Mythic. Episode one. Grixis. Oh, wow. They're, they're going in deep, folks. We got a Purity Overseer here for a 3-3. Sure. All right. So, we're going to untap. And we can uh, Quintorius Cascade. We have two of them. So, like, it's not that really bad either. Let's just do it. They have more elephants than us. At present, they do. You're right. Um, at present, they have more elephants than us. Not for long, though. Let's just fire this up. Yeah, we came here to spin the wheel. Bloodbraid Elf, please! Alright, Surge is fine. Uh, we'll just kill this. Not not the best of all time, but sure. So, Drain for two. We have a blocker for this thing. If they can kill my thingy and kill my thingy, I have another thingy, so... It's still a piece the worst of of all time, basically. Oh, I'm gonna play a card that does a thing or something, maybe. All right, so we got Harvester or Fiend's Tower. So a lot of colors here. The Blood Tithe Harvester Purity Overseer deck is is ambitious, and I'm here for it. Um, just got a Warcraft, right? Yeah, just World of Warcraft, the uh, the Harvester. 
It's a little risky, I guess, they could have shoulder in their hand, but... Right, so we have Pia, Impulse... Probably could guess Pia, this is great. So, let's play Pia. P -p -p Pia, let's play this. Play Pia. Make token. Okay, these, these, these triggers add up, you know? Alright. And we're gonna attack, too, actually. I should've... I should have. Poor sequence, but I'll attack. Alright, you're up. A lot of gas here. This deck's sweet. Yeah, this deck's just, that's a nice one. Card's really, really cool. What did I pick for best in show in, uh, oh, I picked the stupid Dread Boar. This is, this is best in show for multicolor. That'd have been close. You missed set where you go watch it. Uh, apparently I don't get every card right. Uh, but <laughs> this thing hit artifact or creature. They sacrifice their blood token. And, all right, this is fine. So, they get to kill that. I have a new one. I have a removal spell. Play another Purity Overseer. Right, so, we draw a Bloodbraid Elf. Unfortunately, would have preferred to have that one one card down, but sure. Play Lange. We're going to play the Quintorius and Cascade, and then have Strangle also. So, play this. Cascade. And we hit a Kamado. Also, four lands top of our deck, too, so good clear. Uh, yeah, just an Elven Battle. So, I think we just strangle one of these things and get in for... Oh, so they're, they're at four. This thing kills so fast. It's like Shieldred, honestly, where it just, like, it just never ends. It's just like, all right, yeah, take damage, take damage, take damage, take damage. All right, you're one. And we can surge to kill the Phyrexian thing and tries to kill this thing. Wow. Damn. Woo! Game. That was... Blouses. That was something. <laughs> Alright, so uh, one 5-0. and oh, The clean 5-0. and oh, This card bangs. Alright? This card is awesome. Uh, really, really impressive. That static line, it reminds me a lot of Shieldred. Where it's just like... Doesn't seem like much. And then all of a sudden, you're at 19 and they're at freaking 7. And you're just like, whoa, what happened? You know? So, uh, yeah. Really, really impressive. Bumper Elf is pretty great also. Uh, P is already a good guard. These cards make it, make it pretty awesome too. Dex Gas. We got a, we got a winner here, folks. Bingo. Rule number two. It'll be hard to top this one with the 5 of, but we'll, we'll try our best. So, UG folks, love you. Like, comment, subscribe. Stream folks, don't go nowhere because Bruno number three is coming up. Let's go.